Hey, good afternoon again. Saints, TIs, targeted individuals, God's mounted patrol, God's elect. Did I miss anyone? <laughs> anyway, um, it's me again. I just want to run down real quick. Since I hadn't been in, able to get online in a few weeks, while I can, I wanted to run down some dreams I had. And I think a few of them are prophetic. Matter of fact, I know one of them for sure is. A few of them may be. And uh, see if this helps anybody else as well. However, first I wanted to start with something else the Lord started showing me a few days ago. I keep going to this. Matthew 10, 16. And I have to keep doing this with my glasses because they're broken. Matthew 10, 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Alright? I keep getting that over and over and over again. Now I'm going to roll out the dreams. Okay, March 20th, I woke up at 4 a.m. exactly. Uh, some guys were all liking me. It was like a group of guys and they were all liking me. They were like trying to follow me around and stuff, but in a good way, not like stalkers. And uh, I had aviator sunglasses on, which those have disappeared. I don't know where they're at. Um, but I had those on, which to me reminds me of military, you know. And uh, it's basically God's special ops that I was in. And someone in the department of D, L, and defense, or D, O and defense. I couldn't remember what the middle letter was. I got department of, and it was either L and defense or O and defense. But when I woke up, I was like, department of defense? What? Yeah, that was in my dream. They were in my dream with that name on it. Department of O and defense or D and defense. So if anybody knows what that is, um, said for me, quote, to cease and desist, or something like that, because all of the men were starting to like and follow me. And I was laughing because in the dream, I remember I was overriding the commander. Okay. <laughs> so I'm thinking that this is actually showing the military because this happened on March 20th. It's now April 2nd. Starting yesterday, I've been I mean, I'm always followed by military, always. But this is, like, overloaded. They've, like, taken over my neighborhood. Literally, every neighbor is now military. I'm really not kidding. All right. So then, uh, there was a group of people that were being deceived. Look, chopper's flying over right now. I'll be quiet so you can hear it. I love it when it when it actually is on here because I have no way to record it, you know, with my phone or anything. Anyway, um, there was a group of people who were being deceived by one lady. I think she may have been a witch. And she was trying to pretend to be like, a, you know, godly or something. And I said, somebody here is not being truthful and is leading others astray. They are of the enemy. And I had my, held my hands up. Like a person directing an airplane, I was like going like this. And um, I said, they are in this vicinity. And I went like that. And the people in that area started looking around, seeing who it was. And I said, it's you. And I pointed to the lady. And the lady just stood there. And I said, it's her. It's her. And then she got mad. And she like swiped out. And when she swiped out, it became like a claw. Like, it reminded me of like a, like a cougar or panther or something whoosh, like that. And like these long, I don't know what they were, claws came out of her. And she was like trying to swat people away. And, uh, let's see. It looked like a demon. I wrote that down. I'm going by, I'm, I wrote all this stuff down so I remember like exactly what I dreamt. Um. I said, see, she's mad. She's got caught. And then the other people started to get away from her. And they started to, like, follow me. And she started screaming. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, March 29th, which is also was the new moon. It actually started, I guess, the 28th, but it goes for three days. Um, speaking of that, something with Jupiter, I'm in astronomy class, which, never mind, I won't even go there, but uh, I found out that there's something going on with Jupiter. I think it's going to be the closest that it'll be to the uh, Earth, and I think it's going to, like, block the sun and make, like, a round red where the sun looks red and I'm wondering if that is like the blood the, bl the blood moon kind of the, the sun becomes red I, I don't know I need to look that up before I go into more detail but it just reminded me that I found out that will be on the 7th of April so let's let's look let's look that up anybody that knows about that let me know anyway March 29th which was the new moon um, someone is stealing wooden animal statues and they're big. I remember, I think one was a giraffe. I'm not sure. One might have been a horse, seriously. And they were putting them in an SUV. And there was a girl that started, I don't know who the girl was, but she started chasing them, screaming, they're stealing, they're stealing. And I called 911. I like heard her say that and then I dialed 911. That is one of the, that's the first dream I had a 911. Then I had another one all in this week. So I start calling 911. And then I look over where the person is stealing the wooden statue things, which I guess this means like false idols. And there's a couple, an older couple in, in a uh, camper. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I have not coughed in a couple of days. It starts when I get on here. <laughs> and um, they're inside and they're banging on the door and they're yelling, let us out, let us out. And I let them out and then they notice me and someone else are planting flowers. And the lady that I let out of the camper says for us to make her, her arrangements first. So I go ahead and start fluffing up the flowers that look like leaves. And someone asked me why we're working on her flowers first. And then I see a lot of pretty arrangements that, quote, had to, this is the words that came to me in the dream. They had to be perfectly arranged, perfectly detailed. And to me, that's like arrangements, like God's arrangements. He's putting his fine, final arrangements in order. I used to be a floral designer. I actually went to school to be a floral designer, and now I can't even get a job doing that anymore. <laughs> it's a joke. And uh, anyway, so I was thinking, well, the flowers maybe just mean because something that I've always liked, but flowers also could be like, you know, we're blooming. You know, I haven't really prayed on any of these dreams. I'm just trying to get this out there. I don't have a lot more time. i got to hurry. Wrap it up. Um. Okay, that was the next one. Then, I'm this dream I know was prophetic. It was really cool. I'm sitting in the back of a pickup truck, which I know means ministry, taking others with us. And someone that looked like my old best friend, her name was Kim, and we don't talk anymore. But anyway, uh, the enemy actually got to her. Uh, she, she looked like Kim, but it wasn't her. Anyway, she was sitting, sitting in the back of the pickup truck with me and her name was Linda and we're waiting to meet someone that we will be working for I don't know if we were going to be working for or if it was just me I can't really remember that part it's like fuzzy and I didn't write it down but I know I definitely was going to be working for whoever this was okay and there's a man walks up and I'm like is that him is that the person that you saw to the to the lady named Linda and she said, I don't know, that doesn't look like him. And I look over, and it's Jesus. I've never, ever, this was so exciting to me, because I've never had a, I've never had a dream with Jesus in it. And I know a lot of other sisters in Christ and brothers in Christ have had dreams of Jesus. And I'm like, why haven't I? Well, this was an important day for me, because this, the, uh, the night that I dreamt that, that day, I had had the vision that I saw a big, face of Jesus in the clouds. It was like a portrait. It, it looked like somebody had clicked a picture and hung it on the clouds. It was really cool. It was that same night. And uh, 
Anyway, it was Jesus. The cool part I forgot to say in the other video, he was carrying a toolbox. And I thought that was funny because obviously he's a carpenter. Hello, he would be carrying a toolbox. But it's also significant to me because it means he's bringing us the tools we need to fulfill our mission, right? So he walks up. And just so y'all know, he did not have uh, like the hair color that they always show. His hair was reddish brown. And he had kind of my eye color, but I, my eyes are like greenish, goldish brown. But his had a little bit of blue in them, I think. And, um, but I know they definitely were like green and gold. And they were like very unique looking. And he had that. He had like the same kind of hair that they portray, a little bit scraggly, a uh, good looking dude, um, really well built. And I honestly think he was wearing a white robe. <laughs> it's hilarious. Anyway, um, I laugh and say, funny, he's a carpenter. In the dream, I said this. And the girl that looked like my friend named Linda, I asked her again, is this the guy you saw earlier? And she said, no, because then she was able to see him closer. Then um, we meet him, and I show him a doll. This was very odd. I don't know what this means. There was a doll. I had a giant doll about four foot tall that looked kind of, you know how those uh, marionette dolls are? Kind of was like that. That looked like Jesus. I said, look, I have a doll of you. And uh, he looks at it, and uh, I tell him he looks like Jesus. And then he, he didn't he didn't say anything when I go, you look like Jesus. And he goes, I want to get this exactly right, so I'm reading it down. He said he is coming for Lena. He said my name. And then as I go to introduce myself as Lena, the lady, Linda, that looks like my old best friend, she starts to say hi. And she's like, hi, like she's Lena. And, and then he said something like, I'm trying to get this exactly right. I don't know exactly. I'm trying to remember it because I didn't write the details down. It's kind of foggy, but he's, it was something like, he said, I've come for Lena. And she like raised her hand and said, hi, like that, like she portraying herself as me. And I said, I said, I'm Lena. That's Linda. And he said, I've come for Lena. And uh, he said, but y'all will be working for me. So I don't know if he specifically was supposed to talk to me first or what, because I feel like the other girl was supposed to be working for us too. I wish I would have wrote all this down. But anyway, Jesus tells me, I will be, he actually said, quote, you will be working for me. And everything has to be in order and done just right. That's actually the exact directions he gave me. And he said, it will be like being a master craftsman or master carpenter or something like that. I, didn't, I don't remember exactly. But I know for sure, he said, things have to be in order and done just right. So what I'm feeling is we're, in the, we're wrapping it up right now. And everything has to be like put exactly in order. Okay, and then next i'm riding in the vehicle with him it's another pickup truck and i tell him yes i'm a christian and that what when i said that he looked like jesus i meant it as a compliment and then the next thing i'm outside in some pretty green grass and a man is painting a big painting and it's of the ocean with waves facing facing the left and I'm painting the same painting, but I'm on the right, and my waves are facing the right. And he asked me how I did the tie-dye technique. By the way, I used to paint, too. How I did the tie-dye technique, or some kind of technique, so fast. And I say, I just took a brush and did it. Okay, I'm going to stop this, and then because I only have 15 minutes and I can talk. So I'm going to stop this and then post... Uh, keep on with the dreams. Okay, God bless y'all. We're going up soon. Regulators, get ready to roll.